so that the gospel can keep being preached more freely because the devil wants to close the great nation of Turkey. He wants to close it to the gospel. And part of the intercession is to pray for those in authority so that you might live in peace so that the gospel, because God is the one who does wills that no one perish, that they will all be saved. We have to pray for those in authority so that the atmosphere is conducive for the ongoing preaching of the gospel. Yeah. We're in a very critical moment right now in Turkey. And, and a decision is actually being made tomorrow or delivered by the king in two hours. In two hours. Wow. Teresa, anything you want to say to us? Come. Yeah, with the time change, it's their morning now. Yeah, it's 8 a.m. right now in Turkey, and in two hours, there's been, if you, if you haven't been following the news, there have been protests going on and stuff. And we prayed yesterday because friends of ours in Turkey that are missionaries in Turkey said that we've heard, we've gotten news that tonight is supposed to be a bloody night. The prime minister has issued a decree that. That, like basically stand down, stop protesting, or we're gonna use whatever force we deem necessary. But we prayed that, and we actually prayed that there would be no bloodshed, and the Prime Minister had a meeting and the police did not invade any of those regions. Amen. So two nights in a row, there were no confrontations between protesters and police, and the Prime Minister has said that they're gonna make a decision about what to do with the situation, quote unquote, at 10 a.m. their time in two hours. So that's two hours from now. What you need to say, prayer, Teresa? Yeah. yeah. Come on, so, let's just join in unified yeah. prayer together. Yeah. So Holy Spirit, we come to you, God. We come to you. We say, Helper, Holy Spirit, the great Helper. We say, we need help right now in Turkey, God. We say, we need you, Holy Spirit, in Turkey right now, God. We ask you, would you come and invade the chambers of the Prime Minister? Come and invade the government, governing um, authorities in Turkey, God. We ask you that you would bless them, that you'd encounter them with, with your spirit this morning, God. We pray, Lord, that you would come and direct them and give them wisdom on how to engage with their people, God. I pray, Lord, for the protesters, God, that you would fill their heart with the spirit of the living God, that they would encounter Jesus in the midst of their protests, in the midst of, of caring about their business in the streets. I pray, would you break in with dreams and visions, break in, God. With, with, with Turkish believers rising up and preaching the gospel. I ask you, God, to this harvest field, these sheep without a shepherd, these that are crying out for more, we ask you, God, would you release the messengers right now in Jesus' name. God, we ask you, have your way in Turkey. We, we pray, kingdom come in Turkey today, God. Lord, we know that the natural things speak of the invisible. When there are riots and when there are things going on on the earth, it reveals there's a war going on in the heavens. We take our stand with you, Jesus Christ, living for you, with the one raised to the right hand of the Father, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. Tonight we stand with you to declare in the name of Jesus that Turkey will remain open to the gospel. We declare the restraining of a radical Islamic spirit who would shut, seek to shut, shut down the movement of the free preaching of the gospel. In the name of Jesus, open that country. Come and influence this prime minister, this president. Come on upon him, Lord, with, a, with an influence. You turn the hearts of kings whatever way you will. Turn him to a reasonable open door policy for letting freedom among his people. We ask, use this what the enemy meant for evil. Turn it for good in Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we pray for the church in Turkey. Let their intercessions be mighty tonight. Mighty this morning. Even in the next two hours, move on the King God. Give him counsel. And turn his heart, we're asking in Jesus' name. We pray no bloodshed. We pray mercy, God. We pray in the name of Jesus, the gospel of the kingdom of peace would prevail over the violence of hell in the name of Jesus tonight, God. Yeah, God, we ask for the light of the glory of the gospel to penetrate the eyes of leaders. That yes. blinders would fall off. That the light of the gospel would penetrate. That the name of Jesus, the face of Jesus would be before every leader. God, we pray this morning for visitations and encounters for the true living God. The one true living God, we ask you to show up. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would pour out right now in Turkey. We ask for supernatural reconciliation to be released in this land in Jesus' name.
open doors in Jesus name we say Isaiah 22 22 yes. Lord what the keys of David the keys of intimacy as this team even worships in Turkey Lord as this morning as they come together and they have their devotions and they worship Lord we ask that this door for an effectual uh, uh, of, of giving the gospel that it would be open that no man can shut God that the door of the gospel will not be shut in Jesus name God, we release your angels at this meeting, Lord. We ask that you would have your way. Amen. Jesus, we lift up the president of Turkey before you. Lord, we ask that you would open up his heart, God, to receive your love. We ask that the fear of the Lord would be present, God, in that meeting, Lord, upon every heart, God, that you would move every heart, Lord, and that your will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. God, we ask that you would break off all plans of the enemy against this meeting, God, against this nation, Lord. God, we just ask that you would have your your way, Lord, in yes. Jesus' name. Yes, God. Father, we stand here believing that you have already encountered the Prime Minister. Lord, I ask that you would remember, Lord God, that you would you would bring to remembrance, Lord God, the things that he has heard, Lord. God, I pray you would encounter him right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. That he would have the fear of the Lord upon him in this decision, O oh Lord. You would continue to encounter him right now. You would restrain lawlessness right now. In Jesus' name, you would restrain lawlessness. And you'd remember the believers in Istanbul right now Amen. as they're crying out to you, Lord. Would you remember those believers right now, Lord, Amen. as they're crying out before you, O oh God. Let your presence be felt in that meeting at 10 a.m. Istanbul time. Amen. Let your presence invade that place right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Just felt the scripture come into my spirit that the God of peace will soon crush Satan yeah. underneath your foot. I want us to begin to declare that in the spirit just all together. We declare that the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath his feet. That the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath his feet. Declare it together that the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath his feet. There in Turkey, that the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath his feet. We loose your word to Turkey now. We send it forth from the Ecclesi in Jesus' name, God. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, God. Thank you, Lord. So we just, yes. I just had a picture. Uh, I see a turkey on a silver platter and uh, just giving thanks for Thanksgiving like the pilgrims and that the, the uh, turkey is stuffed with the bread, with the stuffing, with the bread. Turkey is stuffed with the word. That the word will go forth in turkey in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To, uh, every night, every night at the Ekbalo House of Prayer.